Hey, hi. I'm on an abandoned rail bed going next to the Boreas River. Why? Because it's an adventure. That's why. The adventure is that I'm going to walk about two miles up this rail bed. And I'm going to bushwhack into the woods. And then down into a little cave. Where I'm going to, of course, find a geocache. Okay, so five or six minutes from now, I'm going to hang a left and go up that. Which is kind of going to suck. I don't know if you notice all the snow falling. That's going to be all right, but when I get there, I'm going to have to take off all my outer layers and go into the cave just wearing my underlayers because I'm going to want dry clothes to wear on the way back. Okay, now I'm looking for the stream that's going to be to our left. And then just after it, according to the instructions, there's going to be a trail. Okay, that is probably the stream. And just past it, the directions say there's going to be a trail. So I'm looking for that. Oh, isn't that a lovely little stream? And there's somebody's water jug. So I guess that's where I go in. All right, I've gotten into this little area here. And if you follow the stream up, 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 you can see up there where it comes out of the rock face, and that's where the cave is. It looks like there's another cave entrance up there. That's where I'm going. All right, this would be the cave entrance. So it's time to take off my rose-colored glasses and put my helmet on. All right, so make a little little survey of the inside here. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so I'm ready to go into the real cave. I'm wearing my fanny pack as a boob bag because uh, I have to go through some water and I want to keep my things safe. Um, this is an excellent way to confront my fear of closed spaces. Well, check me out. Here I am in this cave. Uh, and it's scary in here because uh, claustrophobia. And up there is the geocache that I came to look for. Because without awesome geocaches, I would not get out and do things of which I am afraid. Why sure, I'll take my camera out of the bag to shoot video coming out of the cave. The water here is about knee deep, and I'm wearing water shoes and tights. And that's the way I came in. But if I stay up on this sandbar, I can get a look. It's still only about knee deep here. There's where the water comes out. I have to watch my footing because I'm not sure of what's underneath me. And I'm shooting one-handed, holding the camera and looking up at that. I bet you can squeeze through those passages. I'm not gonna. I've had enough claustrophobia here for the day. I'm going out. <laughs> So, um, the two miles along the railroad bed seemed like a lot longer a walk 
when I had the bushwhack and the cave ahead of me. Right now, it just feels like a victory lap, you know? Because I'm wicked afraid of the unknown. And I am wicked afraid of closed spaces. But I did it. I got up there and I changed my shoes and I got there into the cave, into the water. And you know what? It was fine. So now I'm just going to take a stroll down the railroad track. And I'm uh, probably going to call it a day.